The dragonfly is well known for its gigantic compound eyes and its amazing flying skills. But what may be the most amazing thing about the dragonfly, and certainly its most unique feature, is not obvious at all. Did you see it? Here's a replay in slow motion. The body part that Dragonfly uses to capture its prey with is known as the labium. It can seen, be seen almost fully extended in this image. Here's some video of the prey capture taken from above the larva. Here's the capture at one-tenth normal speed. The larva attempts to capture prey that is beside it in this clip. The clip demonstrates the considerable coordination the larva is capable of between its legs, neck, and labium, and the extreme flexibility of its neck. This is a still image of the larva with its labium fully extended perpendicular to its body. These are two more clips of the larva attempting to capture Daphnia. In the second clip, the Daphnia escapes, although its chances for long-term survival are probably not very good, given there's about eight dragonfly larvae in the tank. This is an image of the labium seen from the front. The two grasping parts of the labium can be seen clearly in this image. The dragonfly larvae's prey in the previous video clips have been Daphnias. Daphnias are small, one-eyed crustaceans the Daphnias propel themselves by doing a sort of breaststroke with their antenna. Dragonfly larva prey includes a wide variety of pond-dwelling creatures besides Daphnias. In the next series of video clips, the dragonfly larva attacks mosquito larva, a tadpole, and even a stick. The dragonfly larva is chewing on an unfortunate tadpole in this image. Here it attacks a stick. All the dragonfly larvae in this video have probably been neon skimmers. If all goes well for them this spring, they'll be turning into an adult like the one in this image. These two dragonflies are probably the parents of the larvae seen in this video. The female laid her eggs on the surface of our pond in early July of last year.